In this video, we're going to learn how to print the negative numbers in an array using C. So the first thing we'll do is declare an int array called array, which will initialize with the values 5, 0, negative 6, 7, 34, 56, negative 78, 92, negative 31, and 45. So this array has a length of 10 because the array has 10 elements total. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll store that length into an int type variable called length, with int length is equal to 10. Now to only print the negative numbers in this array, what we'll do is create a loop, which examines each element of the array with each loop iteration. And only if that element is a negative number are we going to print it out. So each element in this array is stored at an index. For example, five here is stored at the index zero, zero is stored at the index one, negative six is stored at the index two, and so on for the rest of the elements in this array. We'll use this to create our loop. We're going to have a counter variable called i, and this counter variable is going to move through each index of the array with each loop iteration. We'll create a for loop and we'll declare and initialize the counter variable i to zero because zero is the first index in the array. So i is going to begin here. Then with each loop iteration, we're going to increment i by one. So we'll have i plus plus here. And this is going to occur after each loop iteration. Now, eventually we do need this loop to stop. We're going to stop the loop once I is no longer less than the length of the array, because at that point, we'll know that I has gone past the end of the array. So of the condition here, I is less than length. Then in the loop body, we'll check to see if the element in the array at the index I is less than zero. Because if this is true, that means the element that we're currently examining is a negative number. And in that case, we're going to output that number. So for the if statement body, we'll call printf. And we'll pass printf a string with percent %d to output an integer, followed by backslash n for a new line. So we're going to output each number on a new line. Then we'll output the number in the array at the index i. So then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get as our program output only the negative numbers in our array. Now, one more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function so we could call the function in different places in our program. So we'll first declare the function up here. We'll have void for the function return type because the function is not going to actually return any value. It's just going to output numbers. We'll call the function print negative. The function is going to be passed the array as an argument. So we'll have int array for that parameter. And the function will also be passed the length of the array as an argument. So we'll have int length for that parameter. Then we'll copy this and paste it down here. And then to actually implement the function, we're just going to cut and paste this logic into the function. So we'll cut this and paste it here. And we've used the same parameter names as our variable names. So it's actually going to work exactly as it's written. Up here, we can now call the function. We'll call print negative and we'll pass it our array and the array length. And then if we save compile and run the program, we'll again get the negative numbers in that array as output. So this is how we can output the negative numbers in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.